Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today I'm here with a, just a regular Goodwill store haul. <laughs> and it's not that many stuff, it's not that much stuff. So it shouldn't be too long of a haul, but I found some great stuff and a couple of the items were on sale, but most of it wasn't. And um, yeah, I was really excited by some of the brands I found and I just felt like a lot of pretty stuff or a number of pretty things. So. I hope you enjoy. I will jump right in. If you aren't already subscribed and you like reseller content, maybe you want to sell on eBay or Poshmark or you're already selling and you just want to see how other people do things and what other other things people pick up, um, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And if you like this video and just in general these hauls, hit the thumbs up, let me know so I can know I should keep making them. So. I got 18 items. I spent $69.96, which breaks out to about $3.89 per item. And a, a few, probably a half of the items were 50% off that day. It wasn't, this wasn't LA Goodwill system. This was a different area in Southern California. So they, they have very different sales. Um, and I just happened to luck out with a couple items being on sale. And I'm expecting to get about $670 to $830, which doesn't sound like a lot, but considering my sole purpose of going to these stores wasn't, it was just a couple hours, um, I was already in the area, and the average sale price looks to be about $37 to $46 per item. Um, so that's definitely a great return for each item, and yeah, I'll just jump right in. First item is, I should just start with the one I'm wearing which I would keep this, except I have a hard time with button front items because, well, we don't want to flash people. So hopefully I don't flash you in this video, but it's kind of this um, Western and I, I can't show you the label. It's this brand, Tasha Polizzi, Polizzi? Yeah, well, um, anyways, it's this really pretty, it's kind of a green teal, and they make a lot of Western stuff. The buttons are really cute, a little floral. Um, yeah, really well-made stuff. Again, try not to flash you, but I thought it would be fun to wear for this video just because the, the color's pretty. Um, with this, I'm hoping to get about 45 to 55. It's kind of a, um, would be perfect for leggings. It's a little bit high-low. It looks like a dress, but it's a little too short in the front, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a cute one and I just like the color. Not gonna keep it though. All right, actual first one that I was planning on showing is this All Saints. This is 100% cashmere, which just feels amazing. And it's a US 4, but it's just a gray sweater. Basic, but just super soft. So with this one, I'm hoping to get um, about 40 to 50. I think sweaters were 50% off. So I got a number of sweaters. Um, okay, this is a Wilfred. And this is one of my favorite brands to pick up. I just like the styles. Not everything sells for a lot, but some of it can sell for a lot. And I believe they're based in Canada. I think someone in the comments told me that. But it's just this cardigan with pockets. I love the tan color, size small. And with this one, I'm hoping to get 40 to 50. I feel like I'm gonna keep tugging at this just to keep keep it all closed. All right, a pair of frame denim, and this is the Lay Skinny de Jam Jam Jam. Yeah, we're 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 just gonna stop with that. Just a skinny, nothing fancy. Just a great wash and pretty tiny. No, actually, 29. So it's actually just got a lot of stretch. Um. So with these, I'm hoping to get about 40 to 50. I really liked this style and I, I like wearing Blink NYC, the brand myself. It sold at Nordstrom, it sold at a variety of department stores, but it's this distressed and it's got the raw hem, kind of fringed raw hem at the bottom, like kind of choppy, but you can see this little detail. Um, and I don't know if there's a style that I could find. Oh yeah, intro maybe, size 28. And yeah, with this, I'm hoping to get about 30, 30 to 40. I couldn't find one exactly like it. So I might aim a little high. This was a really cute, I, I, if you don't know, I have a soft spot for greens and blues. Those are my 
favorite colors to wear and pick up. Um, this is not the right season, but it's Saturday, Sunday by Anthropology, size small, and it's just a cute little dress, kind of lightweight, love the little detail on the back. Uh, not expecting too much. I think dresses at this store were half off as well. Um, not expecting too much, hoping to get about 20 to 28 for that. This is a new tags, Diane von Furstenberg. There we go. And it's this really pretty orange. It's kind of a, it looks a little bit like a sheath, sheath style. I love the red around the waist. Um, but yeah, it's very pretty. Here is the label in case you've never seen her stuff. And here is the tag, no price. I don't think. Oh, there's more information. Oh, $348. Jeez. Jory. J-O-R-I. Orange size four. Well, that's nice. Um, so anyways, there is a slight pull and a little, little spot. There's a little spot right there. I thought there was a little bit of a pull. Oh yeah. Like in the fabric, if you can see, it's very, very tiny. Um, so I'll just disclose those, but I still think it's a great dress. Uh, with this, I'm hoping to get about 60 to 75. All right, this, I wasn't familiar with the brand, but it was only a few dollars and it's a size large and I liked the print. I actually wore it in a recent video before I listed it. Um, this is a, just a dress. It's kind of, on me, it goes just right below, right at, right below the knee and three fourth length sleeves. And I just like the print, but it's jigsaw. Um, comps on this look pretty hit or miss. I'm hoping to get, because it's a size large and it's a cute print, it'll photograph well. I'm hoping to get about 35 to 40. So I didn't, I found Johnny was uh, earlier this week, the same week, and then it was damaged. I was really bummed I posted on social media. And then I found Johnny was again this day and it wasn't damaged. So it's just a little gray button front. There's the Johnny Was label. It's got the embroidery. And with this, I'm hoping to get about 60 to 75. This is just, I think this might be my favorite, just for style. It's moth, it's anthropology. I think this will look adorable on the mannequin, but it's, it's I didn't button it all the way, but it's got these buttons, so you button the buttons in between, anyways. And it's kind of a, it's not quite duster, it's just a little longer, but I just think this is so adorable. It's moth, size small, it's a rayon wool blend, and um, just beautiful. So because of the style, I'm actually gonna go a little bit high on this. I'm probably gonna start it 45, 50, just because I think it'll pop, and I couldn't find one exactly like it, but I'm really only expecting about 30 to 35, just depending on the interest. This one I debated on picking up and I'm, I'm glad I picked it up. It's a J. Crew collection. And not all black tags of J. Crew are collection. If you can't see, it's really hard, but it actually does say collection underneath the J. Crew. And this is a size small, but this is just a nice gray sweater. It's got the lighter gray on the sleeves and then on the turtleneck part and um, just well made and you know this is their i think the collection is their most expensive of the j crew lines so this is probably a few hundred dollars is my guess two to three hundred dollars but um i'm actually going to start this a little high because it's the right season and it's just classic i'm hoping to get about 60 to 75. this one was picked up more for style color and style uh but it's a really just beautiful just so feminine. It's, it's, it's like a, I don't know what color you would call it. It's like in between a pastel purple and pink. Is this mauve? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. It looks like it's a little bit of a crop style off the shoulder. And this is by Leith, which I know they sold this, sell this at Nordstrom. I'm not sure if it's exclusive to there, but uh, I just couldn't pass it up. It was just too pretty. And uh, the comps aren't great on this brand, but I'm hoping to get about 20 to 25. This is a cabbie sweater. I was kind of debating on leaving this just because I, I wasn't in love with it, 
but it's sweater season. People do like this brand and there's that tag. And I do think this would be, it's just really classic to either leave open as a cardigan. Oh, it's a snap front or to snap all the way down. Um, but I did like this detail. So with that one, I'm hoping to get 15 to 20. This one is a really nice Patagonia. It's not the Cinchilla, which I think is on everyone's list to buy. Um, but it's just kind of a nice, yeah, 80% lamb's wool. Um, it does have the marking and a cut on the tag, but it's Patagonia. And a couple identical to this sold, even though it doesn't, it's not the one I thought, it's not the Cinchilla, which is like more popular. I, it's still, I'm hoping to get about 40 to 50, which is awesome. So this is a tee by Alexander Wang. And it's this very lightweight, I don't know if you can see me through it, <laughs> but it's kind of sheer under this part. Uh, and it's just in general, very lightweight. So it would probably go best over a cami. But if you haven't seen the tag, this is a high-end designer. This is a size medium and cute. So I'm hoping to get about 30 to 35 for that one. This one is a brand that I've had okay luck with. I pass it up a lot in the bins, but sometimes when the style is right, I will pick it up and they it does okay for me. So it's White House Black Market. I don't know if it's picking up with the black, but it's just a really cute, it's kind of got three fourth length sleeves and it's got a tie, it's full zip, it's got the little ruffle detail. I just thought it was cute. Good size, size 10. And um, yeah, so I was, I was excited about that. It's kind of perfect for the season. Hoping to get about 25 to 35 for that. I'm not sure exactly where I'll start it. All right, and just two more things. This was a new to me designer brand or brand and um, it's, Yako Maricard. And I looked this up, I believe it's a uh, Japanese lag and look brand. I believe it's made in Japan. I might be mixing up all of my new brands that I've been finding recently, but it's kind of this textured blouse. And yeah, the comps on this on eBay look great. Hoping to get about uh, 40 to 50 for this. And then the last item, I didn't have much luck in the bags or shoes, but this was a really great condition hobo bag. Really nice cream color and just great condition. So if you haven't seen hobo, that's the brand in my wallet, but just a great size. I couldn't really see any signs of wear. So um, with this, I'm hoping to get about 40 to 50 which I'm happy about. So in total, like I said, on average, the average sale price for these items in that range is 37 to 46. So just a lot of really great quality stuff. And although it wasn't like a dollar day or the bins, it was still fun to stop in. And yeah, so hit the thumbs up if you like this and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.